Hello everyone! In today's video, as you guys saw by the title, I'm going to go over the books that I want to read for 2021. I have a lot, but I just want to do the few that I know I'm going to get to in the next few months. So let's just get right on into the video. I'm going to just like say the title, the author, in a little quick summary or a reason why I read it and why I want to read the book and then we'll go on. So the first book I have up is The Shack by W.M. Pa Young. This book follows Mac after four years after his daughter was abducted from a shack and he gets a letter to go to the shack and interact with God, I think. I don't know. But this book was recommended to me by my sister Elena and my sister Sarah. So obviously I have to read it because they both recommended it to me. Basically, I all I know about this book is that one, it was made into a movie and two, it's going to make me cry. So I need a box of tissues at the end, but I'll look forward to reading that. The next book I have is A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. I've read the first two books, A Dog's, excuse me, A Dog's Promise by W. Bruce Cameron. Cameron, gosh, I can't talk today apparently. I've read the first two books, A Dog's Purpose and A Dog's Journey by him, and it's probably following the same line as this. It continues the story of Bailey the good dog whose journey started in the first two books. This time Bailey is joined by Lacey, another very special dog who helps Bailey fulfill his promise over the course of several lives. So yeah, this is a book I just really like the first two, so I thought I would read the third book. This next book is called Attached, The New Science of Adult Attachment and How It Can Help You Find and Keep Love by Amir Levine, MD. Or, you know, that's their, like, and Rachel S.F. Heller. I found out, out about this book through Tara Michelle. Uh, I'll link her videos down below if you've never seen them before, but basically it's kind of about how you can work on your attachment issues and like kind of like not really like attachment issues but more of help you with relationships and keep them at a higher level obviously everyone can work on a lot of stuff and i just really want to make sure that i am putting as much into a relationship as they're giving back and i want to be able to just give and learn as much as i can next book is fire bringer by david clement Davies. Yeah, this book was given to me for my birthday two years ago by my sister Elena. It's her favorite book she's ever read and it looks like it follows the journey of the Fawn Rannoch. I hope I'm saying that right. As he goes on a journey through the great land and encounters strange herds, makes unusual allies, and finds the knowledge and courage to face his destiny, which I'm assuming is to face the tyrannical lord of the herd. It seems interesting. I just don't know what to expect because Elena really loves fantasy books, so I definitely know it's a fantasy book. The next book, The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. Everyone knows what this book is. I've read it before. I just wanted to read it again and read it because that's what I've been doing is the books I've been reading, re reading, I rate them at a scale of one to five. So I wanted to read it again and then rate it because I want to do that for all the books on my bookshelf. That is my goal right now is to read all the books that I own because you know, I'm one of those people that buys books and then doesn't end up reading them all. Um, and just puts them on my shelf because I need to start reading. Next book is a Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin. It's the third book in the Game of Thrones series. Basically, I just wanted to read this because I wanted to finish the Game of Thrones series, even though like sometimes I don't like the way it's written. I just wanted to get through it. So that's what this book is. Next book I've also read before. I'm just reading it again to get the scoring. This is A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks. And this one, if you don't know, it's not as popular as The Notebook. It follows Landon Carter during his time when he had dated Jenny, Jamie Sullivan, who was destined to show him the depths of the human heart. So yeah, this book is really small and I'm excited to read it again because I think I liked it more than The Notebook. Next book we have is The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. I really just wanted to read the book because I loved the the movie's okay. I loved the musical version of this and it's more, the musical is more on par with the book than the movie is because it's Disney-fied. And so I just really wanted to read the book to see the differences. And lastly, we have Milk and Honey by Rupi Kapoor. I cannot see words. 
Ruby Kaur, or however you say that. This is a poem book that my friend, my best friend, Pam, gave me for my birthday. I just haven't gotten to it and I'm really excited to read it. And those were a majority of the books that I want to read for 2021. Comment down below which book you're most excited to read for this year and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one two three fuck it my darling i love you i love you